guys welcome back to Avila Couture YouTube channel today is going to be on how to make a corset with bra cup so right now I have my basic blouse bodies I'll be dropping the link in the description box below so you can check that out now I uh, have just drawn out my basic blouse bodies so on that end there i'll be marking half inch in that half inch in is going to serve as the distance between the both bra cups so i'll connect the lines now together now i place my bra cup now on that side the bust is fuller on the armpit region so you slant it upward So on the arm, arm area, the bra should be a little bit higher than the center. So you place your bra cup on that half inch mark I've run out. So, and you make sure that your bra cup is touching. The end of your bra cup is exactly on your under bust line as shown. So your bra cup shouldn't, ex shouldn't go beyond your under bust line so on that bust line i mark up one inch so now i'm connecting i'm tracing out my bra cup as shown so now i'm connecting from that one inch mark i would i marked up i'll just connect it in a slant way as shown so I'm just trying to use a marker now to trace out my lines. I'm so sorry, I didn't know I was using a pen all along. So right now, I'll be marking half inch for sewing allowance for the bra cup. After that, the next thing now is to impute half of your apex measurement. Then I'll connect the lines now. So I'll be marking half inch on both sides of the line. Then the next thing now is to take the circumference measurement. The measurement starts from that line on the center line as shown. So I place quarter of the round bust there. Then the under bust divided by four. I place the measurement there as shown. The waistline, the, the waist measurements divided by four. Place it there. And I added my dart replacement. So on my joining allowance, I also mark same measurement there. Now I'm connecting my lines together as shown. Please guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you get notified each time I drop a new video. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section about this video so now i'm marking it up as you can see here my bra cup matched exactly so you can go ahead and use that upside for a yoke now here is my back panel that's my zipper allowance here is my bust line my waistline so what i did here i just placed my front panel and i trace it onto a fresh pattern paper leaving one inch for zipper allowance next now is to mark the half of my apex measurement as shown connect the lines together now
then on that bust line you measure down one inch then you that intake is half inch on both sides making it one inch so here i'm using a waist that connects your marks together as shown so now for the back neckline depth i'll be coming down by one inch the back is usually lower than the front but this is optional you can make it same same neck depth with the front so on that part now i will mark in half inch this is just to eliminate the bulge on the zipper area after doing that now i will cut this out as shown so i'll cut out my dart also Here's my center back and my side back. Now I'm also cutting out my front panel, following my allowance. You now cut open the dart as shown. Here's my center front and my side front. Now I place my pattern onto my fabric now, leaving my allowances. I'm leaving half inch up there as shown. Then I'm leaving half inch round the pattern paper. So on that center line, you can also slash that center line open. This is totally optional. And slash it open and pass a bone channel over there but for this tutorial i'm leaving it just how it is so that's my side front now i'm leaving two inches for my side seam then as shown there i'm leaving half inch that's my back panel so i'm leaving two inches there half inch round the other part now i'm folding my fabric now that is the folded end you fold your fabric like you want to cut a full circle flea i'm just using uh, about six inches for the length to wrap up the bra cup so in order not to fall short of fabric you can use five or six inches when you're done with sewing it on your covering your bra up, you can trim off the excess. I I now I've done this is into I folded it into two now. On that end, mark one inch. Then up there, you mark one inch. Then I fold into two now. Mark the midpoint. Open it up. You connect the one inch to the midpoint as shown. Then you also connect the midpoint upward to the one inch as shown. Then you cut it out. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe. And also click on your bell notification button so you get notified each time I drop a new video. So now I'm done with cutting it out. You take to the machine and sew it up on half of an inch. Now I'm done sewing it up. I place it like so. Then I'll pin it up now with the bra cup. So after that, you take to the sewing machine and sew it on that flat end on the bra cup. Now I've cut out my lining piece as shown, leaving my allowances. So that's my 
center front center front as shown side front and my other side front so put them together right sides then sew it up on half of an inch I'm done with sewing it up now. I've cut out a long strip of fabric, one inch for the wideness, which I'm going to be using as the boning channel. Then I'll place it as shown on the midpoint or on the center of that center front, then pin it up. Then take to the sewing machine, then you close it up on half of an inch. So you close it up now on half of an inch. After closing it up, you fold it as shown. Then you sew again, you top stitch on the channel. Now I'm passing my boning, my regling bone into the channel I've created earlier on, leaving half inch up there as shown, then also half inch on the down parts. So you can go ahead and give that a good press to keep it nice and flat. So you ensure you're leaving half inch up on the regling bone and half inch downward. After that, I'm placing the center point of my bra cup onto the center of the bra space up there as shown. So you pin it all around. Please don't forget to share this video and if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. This is the encouragement we need to keep making more videos for you. So right now, it's just you just have to be creative with your trimmings. So now it's time to design a bra cup. You can put it that way. If you're putting it that way, that means you won't be needing a regling bone. So you just have to be creative here, guys. So this is all about designing the bra cup or our corset. So feel free and be creative with your own style, with your own design, with your lace trimming. So now when you're putting it below or beneath the bra cup, just make sure you sew it on that end of the joining. Now I'm done with attaching my lace trimming. I'll further take that one down word on the bra cup as shown so you ensure you're sewing it in that seam here is the final outlook of our front panel so the same way i've joined my outer fabric i joined the lining same way now i place my lining fabric onto the main fabric right sides facing together i will close it up there by half of an inch to that end as shown here is my back panel center back and center front you close it there on half of an inch so close it there as well on half of an inch as shown so leaving close that up also so that is my lining piece my lining piece Now I've joined my lining onto my main fabric. Next is to notch it to make it relax nicely. 
notch it all round so now i'm going to be placing my back panel right sides together onto the front panel okay before that i'm going to be closing up there as shown leaving that side the side i will leave it open the both sides i will leave it open and the down part i will leave it open so you only close up there on half inch leaving the sides open and the down part open as shown so i'm done with sewing them up now the both sides are open now i will place it onto the out the front panel as shown right sides together then i will take to the machine now and sew it up on the allowance i left that's two inches on this on both sides so at this point now you can go ahead and add up your peplum or the down part of your dress now i've added my the down part of my dress and i've also added a zipper to it so here guys we have come to the end of this video if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section share this video with your friends until i see you again in the next one for now stay safe and god bless you all thank you and don't forget to subscribe click on your bell notification bye